on this review, we'll be looking at some beers I just bought at the store and Hoppin' Frogs Frosted Frog Christmas Ale. Alright, I have the beer poured, but let's go ahead and take a look at some beers I just picked up at the store uh, on this this night right before Christmas Eve. You'll probably be seeing this review on Christmas Eve, but I uh, picked these beers up today. So here we go. Um, a beer I have never seen in the store. It's by Coronado Brewing Company, um, just south of San Diego. It's their Islander IPA six pack, I think was $11.99, $12.99 maybe. Pretty expensive actually. So uh, you know, I said I figured San Diego IPA, it's gotta be good. <laughs> so hopefully it's good, we'll find out. Do that one soon, probably. IPA, make sure it's fresh. Then the next one is the Old Rasputin Imperial Stout. Uh, I've had this before, just at a tasting though, and I didn't get much, so I definitely am gonna. I have four bottles, and I think it was $8.49 for the bottle or the four pack. It's by North Coast Brewing, so I'm gonna try that beer again. And the one I wanna do for you guys for Christmas. Uh, a couple people are talking about this beer on Google Plus on my comments, and Pretty sure this is how you pronounce Delirium Noel. And this, um, I've been eyeing this beer ever since I started drinking craft just because this white bottle and the label, I guess, everything about it is just interesting. The foil, I'm assuming it looks like it's corked. Um, it, so I'm not, I don't really know a lot about this beer. I know it says on the back it's 10%. Um, it has some dating system on it. I'll have to look it up and see when this was made. Um, Belgian ale, yeah, that's. Pretty much all I know, it's a Belgian ale, cost me $10.99, sweet bottle though. <clears throat> but alright, let's go ahead and get into the review of Hoppin' Frog, Frosted Frog, Christmas Ale. Obviously the look uh, is pretty uh, pretty brown, and you, it's, it's not opaque at all, really. You can see, you know, see through it fairly easily, a lot of carbonation coming up. The head's very small though, not, not much head at all. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a brown, pretty brown, slight hazy orange color, but you know, the appearance is mm, nothing special. Let's give it a smell. Wow, that's a, a ton of, wow, it's a ton of spices in the smell. Um, looking on the bottle, I don't see really what the spices are. They probably have them on here. Uh, no, it just says a perfect blend of spices, 8.6% ABV. Um, they don't, yeah, they don't say the spices on it. I might have to look it up, but uh, <coughs> later. I'm definitely getting, obviously, some cinnamon, some big cinnamon notes. This almost smells, yeah, the cinnamon is, I think, overpowering in this, in the smell of this beer. And maybe some nutmeg. I'm not too keen on the nutmeg smell, but I know, I know that a lot of the Christmas beers tend to use that, and I feel like that's, that's definitely in this cinnamon up front, though. So here we go. Let's give it a taste. Interesting. I've only had one other beer from Hoppin' Frog. Go ahead and tell you guys, uh, Boris, their Imperial Stout, award-winning Imperial Stout. Uh, and it was pretty good. I enjoyed that. So this is my second beer from them. Um, but uh, the taste. Let's uh, give another taste. Okay, it's uh, it kind of is a thick mouth feel, and you're getting a malt backbone, and then that smell of the spices have really dimmed down in the taste. You're not getting a ton of spices as uh, as you would think from the smell. They're there and you're getting them, but they're not uh, not um, blowing you away. Yeah, it's it's not as uh, the smells it smells pretty good. The taste of the spices isn't as appealing as the smell for sure. Yeah, I'm just getting them all and some spices. The cinnamon is it's definitely a lot of cinnamon in this beer. Um, maybe a little bit of nutmeg. I'm not sure what else they use. I might have to try to look that up. But, yeah, um, um, if I find out what it's in, I'll, I'll uh, talk about that in my final thoughts. But I'll go ahead and let this warm up, guys. It's uh, So far, it's okay. Maybe it'll get a little better as I let it warm. But uh, so far, it's okay. And uh, I'll be back with my final thoughts. Alright, here we go back with my final thoughts on the Hoppin' Frog Christmas Sale. Uh, Froster Frog Christmas Sale. <laughs> It's really not that great. I'm pretty disappointed paying $7.99 for a bomber this beer, and it kind of sucks. 
Um, <clears throat> I guess it's just you get some kind of spices. They don't really say what they are. I checked the website. Um, you get some malt. It tastes like a winter warmer, but it just kind of tastes like a bad winter warmer. I, uh, I'm kind of surprised, <clears throat> you know. I was expecting a lot of uh, uh, Hoppin' Frog is usually their beer's pretty good. And I'm, I was assuming a lot of people talk about their beer being good. I had their stout and I liked it, so I thought this would be a good pickup. But I'm really not impressed. Should have spent my money on Great Lakes Christmas Ale because that beer is just amazing. Uh, definitely, the, that one is definitely the best Christmas beer I've had ever. Period. So this uh, definitely doesn't live up to what I thought it was going to be. I would not. Um, if you see it as a store, I would not. This would not be my first choice for a Christmas beer. Definitely pick something else up and try it before you pick this up. But uh, overall, you know, <clears throat> it's okay. It's mediocre. Um, it'd be it's pretty easy to drink, but it's nothing that's gonna please your palate um, and nothing that's gonna make you think, "Wow, it's a great beer." So overall, I'm gonna have to give this uh, beer a C plus. Uh, you know, it's just doesn't do really anything for me. I'm not nothing in this beer makes me think. Um, to give it anything higher. So Hoppin' Frog Christmas Beer, their Frosted Fall Christmas Ale. Like it's a C plus from Cheer to Beers. Uh, if you guys have this beer, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this beer. Because I could be wrong, but this is just my opinion of the beer, C plus. So uh, enjoy your uh, Christmas Eve, and I'll be back tomorrow with a Christmas review. Um, and uh, stay tuned to see what beer I've opened. Not sure what I'm going to do next on Cheer to Beers. See you guys next time.